Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about migrating the CA certificate authority from one server to another. And what I have here is, as you can see, I have this certificate uh, server. And uh, the server name is DC01. It's not a DC, but that's what it's called. And uh, the plan is we're going to back up basically the certificate, uh, certificate uh, that we have. There's a registry key that we're going to export. We're going to uninstall the CA authority. And now to avoid any uh, reconfigurations or reissuing of any certificates and interruptions in your environment, what I recommend is basically rename your current after you uninstall the CA authority from the current server, rename it to something else, and then the target server would take the same name that you have now and this way, you know, the services would resume with no interruptions or errors or anything. And uh, basically the final step is to import the CAA that we backed up to the new server. So let's take a look at, at uh, the configurations and how we can do it. So uh, well, the first thing we wanna do is we uh, right click on here and we say backup CA. Next, and we want to export the private key and the database. And we choose where to save it. I'm just going to basically save it under my C drive. I have a temp folder that I'm going to put it in there. You need to put a password, any password would do. And it's backed up. Now we need to export a registry key. I have this command that would uh, export it to a temp, the same temp folder. I'm gonna put it in the description, just run it on a PowerShell command as an admin. And if we take a look at the temp folder now, we have the registry, we have the database, and we have the, uh, the certificate. And now the next step is we wanna uninstall the certificate authority from this server so we can go and install it on the new server. So I'm just gonna exit out from here and go to manage, remove, uninstall it, and remove. I'm gonna pause for a second and come back when it's done. All right, so this is the new server. And if I go to host name, as you can see, it's the same name. That server is uh, renamed and powered off in your environment. So now this is a new server and you named it the same name. And now basically go ahead and add the CA certificate authority role. Add features, next, next. And usually people install also the certificate enrollment web services. I'm not gonna install it now, but if it is installed in your environment, you can install it. I'm gonna tell it to restart because this is this needs a reboot, so I'm gonna tell it to install and reboot. And I'm gonna pause once it comes back. Okay, the installation is successful, so I'm gonna click on configure Active Directory Certificate Server. Next, I'm gonna choose Certificate Authority. Next, of course, mine is Enterprise CA. I'm gonna go with next, and mine is also a root CA. So now here we're gonna say use existing private key. We're gonna say select certificate and its associate private key. And basically uh, we're gonna import this from where we saved it. We copy it to the new server. C temp and we choose this, uh, this uh, certificate that we backed up and we put the password that we entered earlier. And uh, I've had it before, so that's why it's appearing, but in your case, it's gonna be like blank, and then you just highlight it and say next. Next, and configure. And now we basically restore the registry key, which we already saved on the temp folder. We copied from the old server to the new server. And now we go and start the certificate authority and see how it is. And 
and as you can see our certificate server is uh, restored if i had any issued certificates or uh, any pending requests or any on such a thing it would appear here and basically that's uh the least painful way of exporting the certificate authority is by having the same name exactly the same name of the server and you're not going to have any issues this way well thank you very much for for watching please remember to uh, like and subscribe for more content like this and thank you for watching